because it, it, it's just like us. We say that we know God. We say that we are friends of God, but yet we don't believe. He struggled in his spirit because of unbelief. He struggled in his spirit because, again, I'm here and you ain't believing me. You ain't, I told you, all you got to do is believe. I, I, I've been with you. I've walked with you. I've talked with you. And you still don't believe. You come out here crying and weeping unto me. See, 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 there was no, really no need for Jesus to weep right now because Jesus had already said two days ago, amen, two days ago that Nazareth was already dead. So I'm sure if he was going to weep, he had already got his weeping on. Amen. But he did it now because of unbelief. Uh huh. And it sounds just like us the church. Yes, yeah, I'm a friend of God. Yes, yeah, I walk with God. Yes, yeah, I talk with God. But all of a sudden, I'm denying the power thereof. In other words, there's a form of godliness, but denying the power of God. I do not believe. Are we hearing this today? Dead man walking. Walking. Dead man walking. But he said, hey, 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 but, but yeah, 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 he's weeping, yeah. He's groaning in his spirit and he was troubled. Why was he troubled? Because oh, these people I'm spending my time with don't believe. How do you know they don't believe? Even the disciples that I'm spending my time with, they don't believe. How do I know that? Because he told them, he said, I'm glad for your sake. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He said, I'm glad for your sake. I'm glad. He said that you may believe. And he's talking, again, he's talking to the disciples, the one that's with him. The disciples don't believe, and not even his friends don't believe. So, yeah, he's a little troubled. He's a little troubled in his spirit, amen? You ever seen somebody? You don't show how good you, you, you don't show them that you want to be there for them. You don't show them that, hey, I love you, man. I, I, I want the best for you. And they still just don't believe they still just don't believe. They, they do everything they can to not talk to you. <laughs> when you try to show yourself friendly to them, you've never been there for them, but because of you, they don't receive it. Amen? But again, here is Jesus. I'm going to move on to the 38th verse. It says, Then Jesus, again, groaning to himself, came to the tomb. It was a cave, and a stone was against it. Jesus said, take away the stone. Martha and Martha, the sister of him who was dead, said to him, Lord, by this time there is a stench, for he has been dead four days. Now, I talked a little bit about on Tuesday that, 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 that uh, what we're talking about, about take away the stone. And I was telling us that there's some things in us that need to be taken away. Amen. That, that there, there's some things that we don't got ourselves uh, uh, yoked up with that need to be taken away. Amen. There's some things that we, we that we've been into that was a sickness. There's some things that we into that is causing us to be sleeping. And there's some things that we into that have literally caused some of us to die. Amen. But those things need to be rolled away. Those taken away. But notice what Martha said. Martha said, There is surely there is surely a stitch, for he has been dead for days. So what you talking about, Apostle? What does this four days got to do with a sin? I'm telling us that there's some things in our life, amen, that we, we, we may think I've only did it one time, amen, that I, I, I ain't going to do it no more, but we still, we still ain't repenting. We still ain't got right with God. But I'm telling you, that stuff sleeps. If a body begins to decay in, in four days and there's a sin, God is saying, hey, 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 a, a day with the Lord is going to be years. So if we are walking and practicing, you don't want it? We are in this thing. There's a sense to our life, and we don't understand that our lives are supposed to be a sweet aroma to God, like cologne, if you will. We're supposed to have a sweet aroma, but there is a sense to sin. There is a sense to death, even though we yet walking in this flesh. There's a sense that comes from us. Oh, I hope we understand in this thing today. There's a sense. There's a stench, there's a stench, there's a stench. But Jesus, in verse 40, Jesus said to her, did I not say to you that if you would believe, you would see the glory of God? Then they took away the stone from the place where the dead man was lying, and Jesus lifted up his eyes and said, Father, I thank you that you have heard me, and I know that you always 
hear me. But because of the people who are standing by, I said this, that they may believe that you sent me. Verse 43, now, when he had said these things, he cried with a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth. Lazarus, come forth. And he who had died came out bound hand and foot with grave clothes, and his face was wrapped with a cloth. Jesus said to them, loose him and let him go. Okay, Apostle, you done read a lot. You done screamed a lot. You done said a whole lot of things. What are you trying to tell us today? And I'm trying to tell us is that, that my God, my God, my God, my God, is that he is calling to us to come forth because there's a great number of us that have literally either uh, become sick, that are sleeping, or have died while we are in a friendship with Jesus, while we are in a relationship with Jesus. There are many of us that are yet standing in the pulpit, that yet think our lives are okay, but we either sick, hallelujah, we're either sleeping or we're dead. Hallelujah. And I'm telling us, God is telling us, he's saying, listen, come forth, Lazarus. In other words, he is telling us, I still have work for you to do, son. I still have some things for you to do, daughter. I need you to come forth. I need you to come out of your grave place. I need you to come out of that dead place. I need you to come out of that place of sleeping. I need you to walk up out of that sickness. And it can happen if you believe and stop denying the power of God. It's enough of us to continue to walk as dead people. And for the wages of sin, it's death. But the thing that moves God is faith. Faith without works is dead. But here we find these sisters not having faith that God can do what he said he's going to do. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Now we have these disciples that have been walking with him that don't have faith that he's going to do what he said he's going to do. He's trying to tell them, listen, it's not just so the Father can be glorified, but so you can believe in me, that you can believe that I am, that the Son, uh huh. That the Son may be glorified. I need you to understand that I only do what the Father would have me to do. I need you to understand that the Son needs to be glorified. You need to recognize uh, that the power of God is working in my life. Uh, oh, I hope you're hearing this thing today. I need you to come forth uh, and know who I am. You say, well, I've been preaching for years. I've been teaching for years. They know me. They know me around the city. But God is saying, oh, God, you that you've been dying, huh? that you've been asleep, huh? that you're dead. Huh? Oh, my God, my God, my God. I need you to come forth, Lazarus, uh, and believe. Uh, not only because, see, this is one thing to preach. Uh, it's one thing to teach. Uh, it's another thing to believe. Uh, how do we know? We see this sister Martha giving God back some scripture, telling her, telling him what she done heard in the text. Uh, so she know the word of God, but yet she ain't got no faith. Oh, I hope we're hearing this thing today. God is saying, Lazarus, uh, come forth. And I don't know about you, but I'm going to put my name right there. I, I, I'll be Lazarus today. God, I want to come forth. I don't want to be stuck right here, God. I don't want to be in this place of sickness. I, I don't want to be in this place of death. I, I don't want to be in this place, Lord God. But cause me to live. You say you came that we may have life. And not just life, but life more abundantly. I refuse to be a dead man walking. I refuse to say that I spent my days preaching and teaching. I refuse to say I spent my days trying, trying to live holy and yet dead because of unbelief. Help my unbelief, dear Lord. Help my unbelief. I don't want to be a dead man walking. Whatever is holding me, God, if, if whatever is holding me, whatever is keeping me, if, 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 if it's my traditions that are holding me, lose him and let him go. If it's this religious bug, if, if, if it's religion that's holding me, God, lose him and let him go. I want to be free. My God, speak to the thing that's holding me, God. Tell it to loose me. If it's my own arrogance. If it's disobedience, God, speak to it. Have it to loose me and let me go. See, it's one thing to be called. 
It's one thing. He said, Lazarus, come forth. It's one thing to be called. But it's another thing to have some stuff broken off of your life. We need some deliverance. Just because you've been called don't mean that we don't need to be delivered from some things. It said that the very cloth was removed from his face. Why is that significant? God got some things he wants to show us, and even in the faith, we are yet blind. Oh, my God, my God, my God. But he said, hey, we're going to remove the napkin from my face. Remove the cloth from my face, God, that I may see as you see. That I may see myself as you see myself. Oh, God, that I, may, that, I, that, that I may see the people around me, God, that I may see what you see. Remove the cloth from my eye. Glory be to God, that you may get some glory, that others, that all of us, that all of us may know that you are indeed the Son of God. See, listen, a lot of us may think that our life, that our relationship with God is just about us, but the devil is a liar. It's more to our life than just us. This story was based around one family and more so about Lazarus. Even when, when, I, when I look at it in the, new, in, in the New King James Version, it says Lazarus dead. So it was about Lazarus, but God had a need for the disciples to believe. He had a need for Mary and Martha to believe. He had a need for the other Jews that was around them to believe. And he had a need for Lazarus to believe. So just know that your life is not about you. That's why you just can't do anything. You can't live any old kind of way because it's not about you. Dead man walking. Hallelujah, somebody. I give God glory today. Amen.